Okay, here we are, back. Uh, this hand... <coughs> Obviously... Mm, I think we're gonna keep it. Obviously, unless we find a second forest, or draw forest or land where else, first turn, because I think we're on the draw. Yeah, you chose to play. Um, we're not dropping Garrus Companion, but it's got a pacifism, and it's got this, which is decent. So, I think we're gonna keep... No, thank you. Oh yeah, obviously, plays first is M12. That's the sound of my Pepsi. I'll try not to slurp into the mic too much, but I'm thirsty. Alright. <laughs> what do we got? Forest or land or elves? You are not one of those. Um, although, no, I get two turns to draw it. So I'll drop the forest anyways. Uh, and hey, if he uh, two for one's us there, we get the troll hide back with the answer. So... Oh, he has a Garrus Companion. Why you no draw forest? Why you put six forest in deck? Come on. Oh, motherfucker. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to pass... No, because... We can just drop this guy's as a Grey Ogre and trade with it if need be. He could drop something really scary next turn. We'll want to pacify that, so... Oh, this is looking like a first round scoop, though. I'm gonna be a schmuck. Alright, yep. No, I do not. I, you hit me for three. And that's less scary, obviously. Still, when we have limited amounts of creatures, we're getting out there. Oh, okay. So our goal is now to hit the late game. What do we want to do? I think... Goddamn, be nice to draw a forest. Do we pass for some this now? Because he's semi-reliable. I think we have to... Uh, what? No, let's play her and just see if he taps it down. Uh, I don't give a shit about getting the trolley back, because I need to block. <sighs> what you doing, boy? You gonna tap? No, he gonna web. I wanted another one of those. Um, although it's power four, is it not? So I guess next turn, unless we get something better, we drop troll hide on Ormancer and get rid of his web. Which case he probably just taps it down once he gets more lands. But he seems to be stuck at three lands right now. Uh, okay, now we have options. Um... I think this is what I want to do to maximize my mana. I know I really should have pacifismed him earlier if I was planning to pacify it because I took six damage from it. But I think now's the time. The next turn we control hide this or drop basilisk depending on board state. So yeah, some sloppy play at the beginning for me, but what can you expect? It's two in the morning and I'm sick. Hold on, I'm just going to... Okay, he did nothing, so I'm just going to pause the video here. i got to fix something in Task Manager real quick, bros. Okay, I just got rid of some, like, gay Adobe update thing. Uh, Yeah, if... Uh, oh, okay. So what's the play here? I can get a 3-3 lurking, but I think we're going to be able to do that. Actually, we got to go to begin combat first, because I'm guessing he's going to tap Garrick's companion. Yeah, okay. In which case, we drop Greater Basilisk, I think. I think that's the play here. We can, like, bust out her whenever we want, really, so. Let's drop the Basilisk. <coughs> so, yeah, he got kind of screwed here with the... Oh, green-blue. Divination. Right, that's still probably nothing for now. Worst, he drops like a land or elves or fogs me on my turn. What do we got? Oh, he has no mana up. Yeah, we just have to do this. <laughs> this is baller. Yeah, and actually, because it's any spider, isn't it? So we, if we got giant spider out, I guess that's good synergy. I don't know why I did that pre-combat. Probably because I had uh, excited to drop the bomb boner. Should have done that post-combat. But oh, and, oh yeah, he can't tap. So let's swing for six. At worst, I get fogged. 
Oh. And then... Is it any graveyard? No, it's just mine. Okay. That'd be sick with that, because I could bust it. I think I bust it. Maybe drop Lurking Crocodile next year. Looter. Won't help you for a turn, though. I guess you can tap something, though. Um... Do I Arachnus Web Looter? Oh, no, I think I drop this and make... Or, I can still... I make him indestructible. So, we're doing that pre-combat. He can't counter me. He has no blue up. And... I think I just stay aggressive here and attack him. I make my guy indestructible and then I attack him, because... I can web the looter later, if need be. Okay, oh, uh, do we do that? I think we do that post-combat. No, we want to do a pre-combat, just, just in case. Yeah, this is this is where the bombs are at, folks. <coughs> yep. No, I've, oh, there we go. Alright, fair enough. What do we... Let's, let me draw a card. Yeah, we had a way out of his web and everything. He really had no chance. And lands, lands, lands. Whatever, because we can just make spam webs and more pacifism. So, that's game one. We are getting Siggy with it. Um, do we sideboard? What did we see? We saw Crown of Empires. We don't... Uh, I guess maybe we... I'd say we can put Demystify in, but Stave Off's just better than Demystify for getting rid of his webs. I think we just leave it. I'm not a big sideboard guy. I'll sideboard, like, something really good against niche decks like Urgent Exorcism. 